Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Dipshi Shiva, and today I'm gonna be talking about cost of living in Mexico. So I'm gonna start with the most basic thing that is car and the house and the groceries and uh, the insurance and banking. So I'll start with the cars first, and the cars cost the most economic one. The car costs around like. Uh, 250,000 pesos, Mexican pesos or uh, like 12.5 uh, lakh rupees or in dollars I would say it will cost like 15,000 dollars so that's the basic minimum cost of one car in Mexico if you're gonna buy a new one and remember the old ones, the used car market is also high in prices in Mexico so it costs almost the same right now I'm going to one supermarket so I'm gonna show you the price in supermarket, how much the groceries cost. But to start with, I will start with the car and the car, basic car in Mexico, basic most economic one, cost around 250 or like 15,000 dollars and onwards. And the current gas prices or gasoline prices in Mexico is 1.5 dollar, approximately 125 rupees in Indian rupees. And uh, it has increased substantially over uh, over uh, like six months, seven months. The Mexican peso is more strong, and uh, for that reason, the price of gas has also increased, gasoline or petrol, as you say. So one more input regarding the cars is the price of gasoline, guys. And here you can see two cars head-on. One is C8 and the other is Jack. Let me go and ask for the prices, how much it costs. Let me see if they reveal the price or not. But this is one supermarket here. So guys, if you can see, it, it's a car, C8 model. And it costs like 370,000 Mexican pesos. This becomes almost, almost 17.5 lakh rupees or almost 22,000 dollars and uh, ten thousand dollar is approximately your uh, hundred and sixty thousand pesos so it becomes almost almost like twenty two thousand dollars and for twenty two thousand dollars you are getting this top model car and then it's not including your on-road prices so it adds a little more paying commission for the dealer for the agency and many other things and here is one car is a c8 company the car looks good it's a, it has a good engine and i see it everywhere in mexico and there is one another car here from jack so this is uh this is 357 okay the the model more up the model with all the features it, it this one is costing like around 500,000 pesos for example like 27 28000 dollars so the cars here in mexico is very expensive as compared to the gracias amigos hasta luego the cars here in mexico is very expensive as compared to the indian market or the us market uh, in us you can get very good car in the same price and also in India but here in Mexico the cars are expensive and right now also the petrol or the gas is also expensive. Coming to coffees, the coffees are cheap in Mexico. One coffee costs like two and a half or three dollars. So the coffees are good. Even in Starbucks it costs almost three dollars. So the coffee's prices are really good in Mexico. So guys the electronic cost almost the same like in India. For example this 5 inch Xiaomi 4K TV cost approximately $350 and in India also it costs around say 35 40,000 rupees so it almost costs the same like in India and right now I'm going to buy one table for the kids because I need it for them to draw things to study basically let's go let's check a little bit of furniture guys the beers are very cheap in mexico because it's the biggest exporter of beer in the world and right now i'm here in this section so one pack of four of modelo cerveza or beer uh, costs around 82 pesos that is like uh, almost uh, five dollars 
सो वन बियर और फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल कॉस्ट ऑलमोस्ट लाइक वन वन एंड हाफ डॉलर ईच एंड इन इंडिया एंड इन इंडिया इज मोर एक्सपेंसिव दिन दिस सो यू चेक यू डिसाइड यू टेल मी इफ द प्राइस ऑफ द बियर इज गुड और नॉट सो गाइज द मिल्क कॉस्ट अराउंड वन एंड हाफ डॉलर द चीज़ कॉस्ट अराउंड ट्वेंटी डॉलर्स पर के जी नो लेस लाइक फाइव डॉलर्स पर के जी द चिकन प्राइस फॉर वन के जी सो गाइज आई विल नॉट गो सो डीप इन दिस वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द ग्रोसरीज बिकॉज मोर और लेस विथ टू एडल्ट एंड टू के जी एक्सपेंड अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फाइव हंड्रेड डॉलर्स पर मंथ इन ग्रोसरीज इंक्लूडिंग योर मिल्क योर ब्रेड everything everything liquor almost uh, your cleaning things everything including everything everything i will say approximately 500 dollars or like 40000 rupees you need at least for two adults and two kids to eat good in mexico and this price can vary depend uh, depending on how what quality of products you use if you use only premium product so this price can go approximately double and it can cost you approximately approximately $1000 or if you consume normal quality it will cost you around $500 so this is for the groceries i will not explain more because uh, i have explained in many videos all of this and you can check all the prices on the website of chedravi walmart or costco or sams and you can compare the prices but more or less you need approximately 500 dollars per month for to live comfortably here in mexico with a family of two adults and two kids let's go to pay i just buy this this uh, butter one butter like uh, 100 grams cost you around 100 rupees or like uh, one and a half dollar and i took beers because there is election in com upcoming 2 days in mexico and they will not uh, sell alcohol all over mexico so today is the time to buy because next two days no alcohol guys and the school fees in mexico for the kids if you are going for one english medium school where they teach english is uh, quite expensive in mexico starting from uh, like uh, if you are going to the top schools in mexico city or cancun the school fees can go up to like 1000 dollar per month for your kid from uh, from primary school to secondary school all have almost uh, 1000 dollars and up for the school fees and uh, if you are going in a tier 2 tier 3 city and school english medium but not so good it can cost you around 500 dollars 200 to 500 dollars depending on the location you are staying for example in kotapec there are english medium schools where we are staying and the cost is around uh, 200 dollars so if in case uh, you can get admission in the government school the education is free in mexico and education is obligatory for the mexican citizens but if you are uh, if you cannot go to the government school for some reason the education is quite expensive so be ready for that and if you have two kids it can cost you up to 500 dollars so be very careful uh, of this cost because this cost is something substantial in your budget if you are thinking of moving to mexico other than school fees uh, if there are co curricular activities like uh, sports or something something you need to spend additional like 50 dollars per month which cost around 1000 pesos or 3500 4000 rupees per month for extra curricular activities but uh, talking about school fees it's an important part of a family household so that's why i'm telling you all this about schools and uh, the interest in mexico is also high so if you are thinking of taking credit uh, the interest is anywhere above uh 12 14% and higher in all over the country so the interest rate in mexico is quite high as compared to india where the interest rate cost only 7 to 8% and us where it only cost 3 to 5% so in mexico credit is very expensive though insurance uh, you can get from the place you are working in 
so insurance depends uh, if your employer provides you insurance or not but most of the employers in mexico provide you insurance so insurance health insurance is good and you can use that health insurance if you want to pay it's not so much uh, you can get one insurance of around 500 dollars per year per annum so insurance is quite good uh, the only problem is the interest rate for credit that is quite high in Mexico. I don't know why, but it's very, very high as compared to US and India. Now I'm going to be talking about the housing prices here in Mexico. So to buy land in Mexico is very cheap. Uh, if you're buying, not buying land in like uh, cities like Monterrey or Cancun or Mexico City, where the house houses uh, where the prices of houses are quite high other than that if you are living in uh, like uh, village area or somewhere near the cities but outside the city the housing is not housing prices are not so high and you can easily afford one house uh, here uh, land for for thousands of dollars like five thousand dollars is enough for to for to buy land to buy land and construct your own house uh, but if you talk about the rent prices uh, in mexico city the rent prices can go from anywhere from 8000 pesos or like uh, 400 500 dollars to approximately 1000 1500 uh, dollars so the rent in mexico city is quite expensive and also the part of mexico city like polanco are quite high in uh, rent prices same goes with Cancun, if you are renting one house in Cancun, one small apartment costs around like $500. We used to live in uh, Playa del Carmen, not exactly Cancun, but near Cancun and it's a touristic place. So we were paying approximately $500 and uh, the rent is substantial high in cities uh, and touristic places. As compared when you go to tired two cities like uh, Jalapa or uh, Jalapa or Merida, these places attract rent of approximately 200-250 dollars per month. So, if you are not in a city like Monterrey, Guadalajara, uh, Mexico City, Cancun, or touristic area like uh, Los Cabos, then the rent uh, decreases substantially and it comes around 250 dollars per month. Uh, so right now I'm talking about $500 in uh, in your uh, expenditure, uh, normal in groceries, family of four with two kids and two adults, and another $250 to $500 in uh, rent. So it becomes almost $1,000 just in groceries and uh, housing. Other than that, if you need to travel uh, and if you travel every day, the transportation is quite expensive and uh, per day going and coming back from one place to another in uh, Kombi costs you around, uh, around $3, $3 going and $3 coming back. So it becomes like $6 for one person, a family of four becomes like $20 approximately and approximately like $500 again in transportation if you own the car it is almost the same in transportation so it becomes till now $1,500 one more thing I want to add on here is that uh, the electricity and uh, your water water charges are very very low it's uh, the water is almost equal to India so in uh, Cancun I was paying around like uh, ten dollars per month for water and in uh, here in village also i'm paying about five to ten dollars uh, per month in water charges and the electricity charges if you are living in a hot place like uh, north part you will need one ac and the electricity charges can be anywhere between i think hundred dollars per month is enough so if you are uh, using ac at your place it will cost around hundred dollars per month the electricity bill one or two ACs but not all the time running but if you are using uh, not using AC the electricity will be quite low and it can come down to around uh, around twenty dollars uh, per month so electricity and the water charges are quite low but 
the rents that I'm talking about I'll put here also the numbers so you can get an idea so till now we have reached approximately $1,500 in Mexican pesos is so guys if you are planning to move to mexico you need approximately 2000 to 3000 dollars or like 40000 mexican pesos or like 2 lakh rupees to live comfortably with a family of four thanks for watching my video keep watching keep subscribing